came home and I was pretty excited to see this on the porch. The JBL Party Box 310 arrived. Pretty heavy package, I'd say about 40 pounds lifting and getting it in. Really impressed by the seller because this packaging was wrapped great. He made sure no water got in. I had to find a little chink in the armor, rip that off and saw that it was even more under there. It looks like he used a black plastic bag wrapped in tape, which is excellent. Box didn't get wet and being that it was black, it also protected the wording so people wouldn't know what it is, which helped deter theft. Party Box 310. And here it is. That's the retail packaging that you'll see in any store that you go to here in America. Uh, I went through the trouble of unclothing this thing. I'm not going to bore you with unboxing because boom, look at this. Let's just get straight to her. What a beautiful, beautiful black specimen we have here. So let's take a little time to look at the design that JBL is presenting to us. This is the right side. You can see the JBL logo. Also, you see some rubber feet there, so you can lay this down horizontally or keep it vertical. JBL continues those design cues on the left side. An exclamation point replaces the JBL logo, but you still have the rubber feet to lay this down. The rear has very welcomed rubber flaps to go over your connections. Anyone who has that barbecue with that drunk uncle who spills his drinks will understand why you'll like that. Or I guess, you know, if it rains or something. Also at the bottom, you'll notice the addition of wheels. Behind that rubber housing, you will find connections. One of the buttons will allow you to daisy chain wirelessly. You have gain controls for when you set up your microphone or your guitar to this. You have the line level uh, changing for the guitar and the mic, of course. There's a spot for a 12 volt adapter and a daisy chain if you want to physically run these simultaneously. Let's say you want to do three boxes, three party boxes. That, that would be insane. I would do three party boxes. On the bottom, we see the AC input for when you're not using the battery. From the top, this is what you would see is the user interface. On the left hand side, you have the volume controls, the play button, and the bass effect button. In the middle, we have at the top, bass treble and you have an echo button for when you're doing karaoke. Also in the middle, you have sound effects. When you press that, you get those DJ sounds, Bluetooth, USB, and auxiliary selector. On the right-hand side, we have a Bluetooth connection button. We have the power indicator, the power button below that, and the lights on and off button below that. Please don't forget to download that JBL Party Box app. That is how you're gonna be able to control this box through Bluetooth and have fun with the lights, changing everything. I'm going through warp speed with this. <laughs> Actually, I just sped up the video because I want you just to get an idea of the buttons you can press, the things you can do, but I want you to download this and have fun with your Party Box, changing colors and changing effects. So there you have it. You crack open that box, you pull out this black beauty, and you have a speaker with two six and a half inch woofers, two and a half inch tweeters, pushing 240 watts with beautiful rings of light around it. The reason why this video was called the 90s hip hop boom bap edition is because that's what I rock through my speakers. I listen to that dirty, grimy, hard hitting drums forward music in all my speakers in my house. So in the spirit of that, Let's go.
My microphone was definitely trying to keep up. Anyone who listens to hip hop knows it's right in your face. It's hard and it's heavy. I wanted to point out that you can put the speaker on a stand if you choose. Sounds great that way. There you have it. The JBL Party Box 310. Brand new. Just came out. Deep bass. Crispy highs. Gets nice and loud. But I have to tell you, there's a handle. So that's different from last year's model. Same thing with the wheels. Pull that handle up, kick it back, roll it wherever you want to go. Done when you get where you're going, just as easy to put it down as it is to lift it. I hope you enjoyed this presentation of the 90s hip hop boom bap edition Party Box 310 by JBL. Snuck in a little Busta Rhyme snippet that I produced and also a song by Truth featuring my big homie, Ill Bill. I'm going to put a link below in case you want to hear that full song. Till next time, hope you subscribe. I hope you saw something you like and I hope it was interesting. Peace. Clever noises.